everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS X515JA uh, laptop here. And this laptop, uh, pretty much I'm going to show you guys, take you on a step by step, how you can upgrade the hard drive and the SSD in here. If you have um, low capacity SSD, they do get shipped with a 256 gig SSD or sometimes 128 gig SSD and you have one terabyte of physical hard drive. If you want to replace them or upgrade or have both of them as an SSD, I'm going to take you on a step by step how to do it. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop and you want to back up all the files that you have or move the files that you have to your mechanical drive. Okay, now the things that I'm going to show you guys and the hard drives that you should get and which ones are recommended. But before that, let's open it up. To open up the laptop, you want to flip it upside down. You want to turn off the laptop. You want to grab yourself the screwdriver set. I use the iFixit screwdriver set. And from here, we're going to be using a Phillips number one. You can get the pro version that they will include you with an opening tools. But no, if you just grab the simple screwdriver set. For opening tools, you can use a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is very handy to open covers and laptop, I guess. Down here, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. There are three types of screws in here. The short screws, which are the front end of the laptop. There are four of them. The, the medium screws, which are the center line right here, side to side on the middle. One, two, three and the long screws which are the far back end of the laptop. So remove all of them and put them in separate piles so don't mismatch them. Also if you guys like my content and if it helps you guys out to do your own upgrade services and you want to support the channel you can do it by clicking that like and subscribe to the channel. I will really appreciate it and it will be a great support and motivation for me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions. I will really appreciate it. All right, I have mixed, put all the screws in one pile, so I'm gonna separate them by size. So obviously the short ones are really noticeable. And the long ones, they are like really close to the medium size, but if you put them side by side, you know which one is the long one. There you go. All right, once you remove the screws, now all you need to do is to grab the guitar pick, and stick it between the top and the bottom cover of the laptop. Somewhere over there you have to stick it in there. Just like that. Alright, it's gonna focus. Just between the cover right there. And now you wanna twist it towards the inside. Towards the screen. You wanna twist it like that. And you wanna go to the side. All the way back to the corner. Do the left and right side. Once you did the front and right side, there's a tiny hooks in here. All you need to do to grab it and just pull up really hard from here and you will release those hooks. And once you did, you don't need to do the back side, just gently bring it from front end upward and it will release the hooks on the back side. All right, now that we are down here, uh, you can see the hard drive and the horrible cooling system that they do have. This is pretty much a Passive cooling, the air goes through here, sucks through the here, this part, and pushes toward, over the motherboard towards this puny heatsink. So this is the worst design ever because the fan should be really close to the uh, heatsink right here. It's like pretty much an example would be having a, a fan on your PC case, just on the case, not on the uh, CPU block. So pretty much this is what it is, having a fan on the casing, not an actual heatsink. So, I don't know if that's what they want to do, that's what they're going to do. Anyway, the topic is on the hard drive. So down here, you're going to see the mechanical hard drive, which is connected via this flex cable towards here, and then M.2 PCI Express NVMe hard drive right here, which is, this is a low quality, Western Digital low quality SSD NVMe. That means they don't last long time. But if you want to grab yourself a good uh, Samsung brand, which they will include you uh, uh, many NAT chips, which will bring down the life spam. It will increase the life spam as much as if you have more NAT chips, the life spam increases. 
to remove this NVMe drive, you remove this stick tape right on top. You don't need this tape actually, just grab it. You want to remove that tiny screw at the top. Again, you do not need to remove the battery at all to do this process. It's absolutely not necessary to remove the battery. Okay, once you remove it, it will come out in 45 degree and you want to pull it back on the same direction that it came out. So there's a PCI Express NVMe drive. This is a 256 gig. You can grab it. I don't have a 500 gig, but this is even a M.2 SATA. Let's say you get the new one in, which this is not it. You can grab the new one in, bring it in 45 degree angle all the way toward the jack, push it nicely all the way inside the jack and bring it down and the screw holes has to match right beside it right there. It has to sit nicely, snugly right there. Once you have it right in there, just simply grab the screw and screw it down to keep it in place. Okay, and if you want to go ahead and put the tape on, it's useless, but yeah. All right, that's how you upgrade the M.2 drive. And now let's say if you want to uh, increase your storage on a mechanical drive, there is a caddy, but the caddy is a rubber caddy. So pretty much you have to lift up the caddy. Don't pull these ones, they're going to rip them apart. I don't know why you even have them. But if you try pulling them, you're just going to rip them apart. Put the opening tool beside it and just lift it up from the sides. And it will come out. There's a little adhesive tape right in here. Pull it up. And the adhesive tape will come out. To release this flex cable, just simply put your finger right at the back of this jack and lift up the jack 90 degrees upward and then pull out the flex cable. This is a Toshiba 1TB hard drive. Let's say if you want to upgrade, pretty much you have to rip this aluminum tape over here. This aluminum tape over here. You don't need this aluminum tape anyway. I'll tell you why we're ripping it off. Be careful with the flex cable. So what I'm going to actually do, I'm not going to pull this aluminum tape too much. Because I'm just going to cut this aluminum tape with a scissor. Because if I try to pull it, I can damage the flex cable. I'm just going to cut it gently at the back. Like that. Because I don't want to pull it on the flex cable. Okay, now I can actually I can cut it nicely, clean it up right here. So there we go. Okay, now what we need to do, we need to remove this adapter here. So put your finger right there and pull this adapter backward and release the adapter. Once you release the adapter, now you need this rubber caddy. The rubber caddy has no screws, just pull them apart. Just remember the position that you removed. Bring it like this and you can trash this or use it for different stuff. Now you have two choices. To put a, another solid state drive, just grab it in the same position. Make sure the orientation for the jacks matches so you don't want to put it the other way around. So you want to place it in the same position or you can grab a SSD hard drive if you want. Or, I mean, a bigger mechanical drive, doesn't matter. Put it right there, uh, grab the adapter, place the adapter, and bring it on and place it right on top. And all you need to do is to squeeze it right in there. And to plug in the jack, it's very important how you're going to plug the flex cable. To plug this flex cable, you want to bring it down in 45 degree. So it has a little earlobe to the side of this flex cable. It has a tiny earlobe. So this earlobe won't let you to push in straight. You have to bring it down in 45 degree angle, all the way inside the jack, and then push it towards the uh, motherboard, and then lock it down. That's how you want to do it. This was for demonstration reasons. I'm not actually going to leave the SSD in here, but these are the combination that you could have. And again, to do this, you don't need to remove the battery at all. It's absolutely not necessary. Now all we need to do is to bring it down, put back the hard drive in there, just squeeze it right in there, and put the flex cable 45 degree all the way towards the motherboard and lock it down. 
Now simply, and again, remember, once you do the upgrade of the hard drive, you're not going to have any operating system in this hard drives. Uh, I made a video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive, and I made a video how to install Windows 10 on these computers. And if you want to check those videos, I'll leave the link in my video description. Again, grab the top bottom cover, align it straight on top, and push the corner, make sure you hit those clicks. Push the corner back, the mid back, and if you see any opening, just pinch them between the top and the bottom cover. Just go around and pinching them, and that should be all. And the last thing would be to just put down the bottom cover screws. And again, remember the short one, the mediums are the one in the middle, the long at the back, and the shorts in the front end of the laptop. Now I'm actually gonna power it on for those people that keep asking me why I don't power on after doing a video. So just bear with me. Okay, we got a logo. And we are in the desktop. Again, I don't know this client's the username pin code, but there we are. And this is how you upgrade your mechanical drive or your M.2 SSD for your Asus X515JA model. If you guys have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.